can't go wrong. Just can't go wrong. After 100 feet, exit left. 80 quid for the sat nav. And look at what you're getting. After got 900 feet, two lanes. enter the roundabout and take the second exit. Right, today I'm doing a review on the Horex, O-H-R-E-X, Horex, uh, Amazon's top selling truck sat nav. Um, so I'll say no more, I'll fire everything up. We're um, running it in a car today, so uh, I can legally go over the 50 mile an hour speed, truck speed limit and show the warnings it throws up when that happens. I can show how you program it and uh, it's been working really well for me to be honest. Right, so it fires up like this, it takes a few seconds. This gives you a full review of how long it takes to warm up and get into it. The first screen it comes up with, I've got setters, so you can set all the parameters of the route that you're going. We're going in a lorry, we've got the uh, length of it, the width of it, the height of it can all be changed. Uh, if it's got a trailer, how many axles, maximum allowed weight we're looking for, actual weight. You can set all that up, the type of freight you're carrying, if you're carrying dangerous goods, you can't go certain areas. So we'll go yes for that lot. Add destination. So, we need to change it from Birmingham, it always comes up as Birmingham as a default. So we're going LL21, LL21. L, change, two, one, space, O, E, H, zero, E, H. It's found one result, that one there, unnamed road, we'll go to that, and it's the Huig Estate, which is R H U G bound one result they do really nice coffees here right back to it that was uh, I just had a phone call from my mother okay then so we're gonna stay there we go. Next. And more. The drive, and off we go. We've uh, actually got a little truck as an icon on this. We're leaving from an unmarked road. Just need to uh, shut the gate to stop the sheep coming in. Welcome back. We'll uh, get down to it now. I'll fast forward through a lot of this, so uh, so you're not going to be completely bored with it all. So you can see here, it's uh, given us arrows in the top. Ooh. Turn the radio off, otherwise we'll be copyright infringement. Right, so it's given us uh, it's given us a distance. It's given us a time left and it's given us the arrival time. It's given us the how far to the next turning and which way we need to go at the next turning. 
it's giving us the road numbers that we need we're heading for and it's telling us we're on an unnamed road at the moment and it's also giving us a 50 mile an hour maximum speed on this road for the vehicle that's programmed in for the lorry. Okay, so we've got a few little junctions, right. few little junctions going on, and uh, it's giving us good directions on the uh, on the sat nav visually, um, but maybe the verbal ones. Maybe if they gave more instructions, it would be too Drive confusing. Okay, we're approaching 50 mile an hour. When we go over 50, you are over the speed limit. It tells you. I'm going to cheat now and I'm going to take a little shortcut that I know Keep left on the main road. that wouldn't be such a good idea in a truck. There's no height, width, or weight, right on calculating route. or weight restrictions on this road, but uh, it's not. Uh, wouldn't be the best one to come down in the truck if you met anybody. The other one's a nice easy A road. Uh, the other thing you might have noticed is when it gives me the over speed limit warning the 50 with the red circle around goes uh, all red to give me a visual that I'm over the speed limit as well. It's the sort of thing you might like, you might drive you insane you want to turn it off like the voice navigation. Bear left. I wonder what it does if I go down there. Recalculating route. Turn back where possible. Then take the next sharp right. Okay, so it's an 18 ton weight limit. We've turned down here and it's told me to turn back. It hasn't told me why to turn back. Maybe it's because it's the wrong way. Maybe because it was the weight limit.
lights now give us a warning for average speed cameras and it's giving me my average speed between the cameras that's really quite good
Right, we're going to, to the... Feet, turn left, then arrive at your destination. We're going to the coffee shop side of it, so we're not going into the actual estate itself, but it's come up with the warning. Illegal, except deliveries. given us a warning we're approaching possibly uh, I don't, that would have taken us into the main entrance for deliveries and stuff down there and we're just uh, I don't need an electric charge but while I'm here I might as well use the facilities provided calculating route and Prepare to bear left after point nine miles. Charging, putting the electric charging bay and uh, stick some electrons in me rear. Here we are, Vicar. Get the right bay. That'll do. So, as you can see, uh, it's worked perfectly. It's got us to the destination. It's given us good warnings on uh, the speed that we're allowed to travel at. It's given good directions for the roads and uh, good warning of which way we need to go. On the way home, I might take a little detour and get on a dual carriageway so you can see the, uh, the graphics when it comes to uh, motorway dual carriageway junctions which are absolutely outstanding i um i've been really impressed with this it's, it cost me less than 80 quid and it does what it says on the tin it's a fantastic bit of kit i don't get paid for this i don't get paid for coming to the rug shop and promoting that i haven't got paid for promoting this sat nav but why spend three four hundred pound on a tom tom when uh, 80 quid will do um, my past experience, I've always sworn by Tom Tom sat navs. I mobile locksmith covering twenty thousand miles a year around North Wales, and Tom Tom always got me there. But um, eighty quid as opposed to nearly four hundred, I'd go for this all day long. Okay, can't accelerate too early here because it don't enter the national speed limit until that point. Then we'll go. Drive for five miles. You are over the speed limit. Oh, there we go. Again, the uh, speed limit set up for a wagon. The sun's on the screen a little bit, unfortunately. But um, you can see that the uh, it's telling us what the speed limit is for this road, for a lorry. And uh, not a few junctions down, it will uh, it'll give us all the warnings we need to come off. 4.1 miles Now you can see it's zoomed out a little bit and it's telling us not to go to Bottle Withen to follow the signpost for Conway on the top of the screen. So uh, 
we've zoomed out we can see available petrol stations and um, on the junction before it's telling us which two lanes to be in and to carry straight on 2.8 miles to the turning we want which will be three minutes away is displayed in the top corner there we want junction 24 we want the a547 to abigail it's given us all the information we need in really good time and really clear there you go Towin and St George is the next junction and we need to stay in these two lanes not go to Towin and St George carry on following the signs to Conway there's a sign for Towin Our Shuttleworth haulage. Nice clean truck. Lowy, sorry, we're in the UK. It doesn't show where laybys are, that would be quite handy. Laybys and emergency phones would be handy, but life's not perfect. At least the sun's off the screen a little bit now so you can see the uh, the graphics it's given us all the road names we are just approaching junction 24 now we're a mile away in a minute the graphics on the screen will change and it will direct us off there we go the two lanes for conway we don't need follow abigaili and Rodlin. I'm going to get slated with my Welsh pronunciations. By the way, if not by anybody else. Prepare to exit left after half a mile. There we go. The graphics have changed now. They're showing us a, a graphic illustration of what the lo road layout should appear like and where we need to position ourselves. After 1,000 feet, exit left. Just can't go wrong. Just can't go wrong. After 100 feet, exit left. 80 quid for the sat nav. And look at what you're getting. After 900 feet, two lanes. Enter the roundabout and take the second exit. You want enter the second the exit? Take the second exit. The first exit I know is actually Kimmel Manor and it's not really it's not marked on that signpost as an exit but uh, the sat nav has told us that even though it's not marked on the sign there is an exit there take the second exit and it clearly shows us where we need to go where we need to be prepare to turn left after half a mile there you go half a mile you know how long you've got I am truly amazed by this sat nav. Value for money and the ability. It Bluetooths through to my phone as well. So if I get phone calls, they can come through the satellite speaker. Uh, traffic updates can come Bluetooth from my phone. I think you can also do TV or something from your phone or your laptop onto the after 1,000 feet turn left onto the screen so we're in Abigail my favourite chip shop over there trawlers come home on a Thursday night past here and when I drove past here I could always smell the curries from the curry house oh, love it late night on a Thursday and you smell the curry on the way home
After 100 feet, turn left. <clears throat> the other thing we'll see in a short time is it also gives like a 3D perception of the terrain. So again, if you're driving something that's heavy and uh, you, you want a little bit of notice as to whether you're going downhill, whether you're going to have to keep your revs up because you're going to approach it just the way it shows it on the sat nav is a really nice view that uh, allows you to better anticipate the uh, the type of terrain that you're coming towards so you can uh, make better use of your gear selection if you're towing heavy trailers or driving a, a lorry so I'll uh, probably fast forward Drive this bit miles. and in a couple of miles you'll see the uh, I'll slow it down you can see the terrain on the uh, on the sat nav This is an interesting one coming up the sat nav even though we're on the main road there's a little road goes straight ahead and it keeps Keep right on the main road after 1000 feet it just gives me little reminders that the road turns right and not to go straight on so uh, it's quite helpful Keep right on the main road I could imagine in some circumstances um, you're unsure if you're not familiar with the area whether the road goes straight on the speed limit. or goes to the left or the right and uh, it's just a nice little nice little touch just to give you a heads up as to which way the road goes as you approach it At this point here, you can just about start to see how the terrain is coming into it. So when you look at the sat nav, you can see that we're starting to approach an area where the road drops downhill. And how it uh, undulates and drops down into the valley. And then I'll drive down it, obviously. And uh, you can see how that uh, plays out in the real world. So again, it's a nice little touch just to, to help you plan uh, gearing and speed. see we go down we'll go through the village and then we'll start climbing up the other side so you can see the um, and you, that's probably half a mile away and you can uh, anticipate what's going to happen next where we're going to go you can see on the screen there and we're going up that hill over there the one in front of us Turn left. 
popular little cafe here, Olivia's. Um, home cooked, freshly cooked. Take the next left. Nice quality food. Always worth popping in for a uh, a coffee if you're passing. It's closed at the moment due to COVID restrictions, but um, something to bear in mind. You can just there's enough space to pull up on the side of the main road there. Prepare to turn right after 1.6 miles. Right, so I won't bore you anymore with this. You've uh, you've seen what the sat nav is like. You've heard my um, my thoughts on what it's like. I'm obviously new to this HGV driving. Um, if any of you more experienced guys and girls have got uh, got any uh, criticisms or uh, advice or Um, good points you'd like to point out about uh, about this sat nav you can always uh, drop a comment below and uh, it's good to see feedback so uh, get involved give us a thumbs up and subscribe and there'll be more content like this see you next time